Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Hey everybody, what's going on man? Hey man, I hope you guys are enjoying your week. Uh, this is the recap. I'm back. I'm feeling real good today, man. Uh, man, um, this week, man, we had uh, different people that came on the platform, man. From we, we did our last, I believe it was our last episode of Melvin Farmer. Next week you should get the whole um, <clears throat> entire uh, full interview so guys be on the lookout for that melvin farmer of course was dope he expressed uh the things about the gangs in la man well, the difference between a street gang and a prison gang is there's no structure see crips there is no one body no one person mm -hmm. so there's never been a structure when it come to crips other than when we were east side west side and Compton. Okay. So then it splintered, and now you got them all over the continent, the United States. So there's not no one supreme ruler, whereas you might have the Latin kings, you might have King Tom, you might have Sean uh, 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 Stevenson, Black Philly mob. So those, uh, 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 Jeff Ford, Larry Hoover, they have structure, no more different than the army, law enforcement, but when it comes to a street gang, mm -hmm. there is no, no structure, structure, no chain of command. Right. So that could not apply in these rules of war. Um, next you had, uh, after Melvin Farmer, you had, you had uh, my guy, man, Ronnie Spencer, man. The voice behind One Day, uh, the voice that uh, kicked it with Rex Shop and all those guys, man. Um, this guy, man, is just a phenomenal spirit. When he came to our platform, man, he was so, uh, just so uh, down to earth and he was willing to do whatever to help us to push the agenda for Boss Talk 101, man. He turned around and said, all I heard you sound like me. <laughs> that's what I you saw, said. So I said, I guess that's what they say, you know, I, you know. And he said, yeah, uh, that's what's been the talk in the town and the talk in St. Louis, Missouri, that you wow. sound like me. And ain't nobody sound like me in 30 years. So I'm like, okay. So he said, well, since you sound like me. Uh, let me hear something. Let me hear something. <laughs> so I guess, they thought, I guess they thought I was just going, you know, freeze up. So I said, okay, what you want to hear? He said, anything. Then, then, then uh, Ernie say, do hello. So I say, hello. Mm. He say, yeah. I say, How you hey. hit that thing? Boy, I know that, yeah. the <laughs> So they all standing there. Ernie playing with his guitar, you know, getting the tune for the So I'm like, okay. So all of a sudden, I say, right, here we go. Hello, 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 hello. Girl, hello, hello, oh, hello, 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 hello. So he like, where's that? Wait, 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 wait a minute, man, wait a minute. So I said, oh, okay. So he say, oh, well, do do smooth sailing. I'm gonna sing the part that uh, on the new song that me and Ron Osley got. Yeah, I've been. I supposed got that already. <laughs> yeah. So the, so the name of this song is um. It's an inspiration song, and it's called, uh, hell, I forgot. It's, <laughs> God, it's been so long since I did it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to sing it. I'm going to sing I'm sing his part. Okay. And you might can hear it. Oh, excuse me. You might can hear it in, in my voice. He's going to say, uh, listen up, son. I heard you back in the day. It was a song by UGK. I think you call it one day. You're here, now you're gone. Oh, but life goes on. Cause the day you prayed for is the day we did this song. You gotta hold on, be strong, and never give up the fight. You gotta stay true to what you do. Everything gonna be all right. You gotta hold on, be strong, never give up the fight you gotta stay true to what you do and everything gonna be all right boy all boy right. boy right. man you ronald Isley, and you sound i couldn't you tell the difference man out. yeah it's, we it's, heard it's about gone. you being romantic with it that's yes, what it was we, ain't nothing go. we got an archive full of it you got yeah. an archive full of stuff and you won't that's even give it to it you get those like spirits man and 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 when you get those people you got to embrace them man so shout out to ronnie spencer man and man he came and sung that one day i'm gonna do it for 
Boss Talk 101. Hey. hey. Fool, one day you hear, and then you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One day you hear, baby, and then you go. One day you hear, baby, and then you go. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. You made a tear from the eye, don't do oh, that. I used to be in that old, in that old Cadillac I had, boy. I was coming out through there, boy, when I had that thing rumbling. You don't understand, man. Say, when I come through there, man, you couldn't tell me nothing, man. I, and I was going to get in some trouble back then. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, you know, I was I was a young cat then, you know. So, uh, yeah. Then he turned around and sung uh, the song that him and Ronald Isley has together. So he gave us two bangers, just skits of it, just skits of it. And it was just dope, man, just to be able to interact with that energy, man, and to talk about the Pimp C stories. Man, hey, man, this thing is rolling. Uh, Boss Talk 101, it's a thing, man. Make sure you guys like and subscribe also to our channel, man. Uh, you should uh, uh, hit up Boss Talk Podcast 101 on IG, or you can go and uh, subscribe to the channel that you're on here currently. You can also find me on E underscore CEO underscore uh, Miss Jamaica, the official Miss Jamaica, uh, Money Moses, man, you can go and uh, follow and just just uh, tap into what we do on a daily basis. And thank you guys for uh, just just supporting us, man. Uh, we also did a uh, we dropped a photo shoot where we came out with the merch, man. Hey, man, uh, Boss Talk 101 merch it flew off the shelves, man. The first day we scaled, and thanks to y'all, thanks to our subscribers, man. Thanks to the people that support us that already supported the stores over the years we appreciate you guys for ordering all the pre-orders all the we even sent some stuff to Belgium Belgium I think it was Belgium we sent some stuff to Belgium man shout out to uh, uh, endurance man uh, love you man cuz appreciate you for wearing boss talk merch man uh, hey man I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am man so um what else did we do, man? You got to think about it, man. It was just a dope week, man. You see, tap into that visual and just see how we got the camo. We got the white joggers that I'm wearing one now. Uh, we also have the black. We also have different assorted colors. Um, just uh, come here for a minute. Let me let me show you. I'm gonna show you. Uh, we can we do anything with the merch. So hey man, that's the lovely official Miss Jamaica man. Look right there, guys. Check it out, man. You see it? Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Get out of my way. You taking over my recap. So you know the recap is something that uh, we came up with, and we just wanted to keep you guys informed on what's going on on a daily basis and on a weekly basis on Boss Talk 101, man. And hey, it's been dope, man. We had B. BFG Strap, BFG Strap, man, this guy, man, uh, this guy, Everyday 420, nigga, you know, uh, gave us some dope illustrations, his music is so dope, so uh, you guys need to tap into him, man, and just check out what he does, man, he's just a dope guy, uh, just uh, 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 the music. I told him, I said, man, you just got this energy like about yourself. And he got some new music out too, man. Him, him and Trap Boy, I think, got a new one out, a, a new video, video out. Go, go look him up. Uh, if it's not out, it's coming out. I don't know if I'm spilling the beans early, but this guy is just doing a great job, man. Being a young man, but still uh, staying focused on his, his, on, on his everyday career, man. For his on in the music, man. So support that guy, man. Uh, and go and watch his video, watch his interview. He told a lot of different things about who he was where he was from he from west dallas west dallas you 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 from west dallas yeah from originally dallas. how long how old was you when you left west dallas i was like probably like mm, probably like nine to ten nine to ten yeah about nine to ten so you, probably probably where, like nine or you ten. remember where you was at over there rupert circle yeah, fish trap Ru rupert circle I okay just, i just drove through there yesterday did you yeah i think not just there today yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, apartment yeah so I, I had a partner named Kane over there, man. Yeah, I, I love, yeah. I love where Dallas, man. I love where Dallas. Yeah, and they're my they're cousins, cool. all of them, I always talk about them, man. The, uh, the Rambo's, all the Rambo's, my people. Uh, I probably got, I yeah. probably got to go. Oh, oh you, go they baby. older. They, oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Gambling, okay. Niggas, okay. Oh, gambling niggas, man. Yeah, all them niggas <laughs> niggas gamble, man. <laughs> they, they gamble on everything they do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, for real. And just a dope spirit all together, man. Uh, um, 
and then, hey man we still been dropping my boy too Bobby Billions Bobby Billions uh, had a lot to say uh, he ended up in the media this week uh, it was uh, Miss, the official Miss Jamaica asked him about Dallas music and he kind of alluded to the fact that he didn't ever listen to Dallas music I heard you mention before that um, you never used to really mess with Dallas music yeah why is that so when you were born out there I, I just I've just always had my favorite artists I've always been like a I like Wayne, Drake, I like Jiggle, I like... So there's no Dallas artist, even I in like, the past, that you've ever just like... Oh, where man. I was just jamming that stuff? Right. Unless it was on the radio, it ain't never been nobody, nobody that I've that I just that I just listened to a da any Dallas artist like that. I've lit the stuff that's on the radio, mm -hmm. you know, that's the kind of, that's what catch my attention. But minus that, I ain't never really just been a been a big Dallas music big Dallas music fan and that he listened to other m m music that was popular maybe if it came on the radio he checked it out but that's how he felt about it so also man we had my boy uh, Trelo Trelo was a he's a I almost call him a conscience rapper he's a very positive uh, rapper uh, and um, he was on the show this week uh, Trelo dope you know um, he 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 likes to represent uh, a rapper slash uh, I think he's a loan officer, but he show you that you can do both. He balances well. Um, he also, um, like I said, the music that he 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 puts out, he, he keeps it uh, real uh, tasteful. I mean, when you because the song that 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 keeps coming back to me is the one substance because at the end of the day, you say, can we please change the subject, make some music with some substance, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah, reiterate, yeah, what, what you talking about? What you, you know like what to see? Uh, I think that actually it's people doing what I'm referring to. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say it to create awareness because what you just said, so people will be like, so it's a conversation. Yeah. And so just instead of glamorizing what's being glamorized right now, mm -hmm. you know, killing the ops, you know, yeah. thugging, yeah. Popping pills, yeah. you know, yeah, drugging, yeah. thugging and drugging. Yeah. Uh, glamorize some of this other stuff, man, where people talking about some shit that's going to move people, yeah. Yeah. that's going to drive emotions, that's going to create awareness, uh, that's going to be positive, that's going to positively impact lives and people re rather than the forefront being shit that's really not helping any of our people. Uh, conscious rap. Uh, he probably wouldn't like me saying that, but it's a real, it's got a good energy. He likes music. He said he want music with essence. Shout out to that boy, Trey Lowe. Um, hey, man. Uh, we also, uh, we had uh, No Jumper. No Jumper, AD, a and I think AD is the guy's name, and uh, Cell Phone and, uh, and, and, Adam 22, uh, Adam 22 from No Jumper, is, he's the main guy over there, but Adam 22 is the guy that uh, they went in on Charleston White and Charleston White, after come on Boss Talk 101 and talk about it, I'm so glad he did, um, defended himself because he they had pretty much just uh, thrown him out there and, and just said, hey, we're gonna talk about Charleston White and Charleston had a lot to say. Uh, a nigga who don't know me, A nigga who don't know me, and he the reason why I don't like California niggas. They'll go against their own kind. Wow. They created something for black people, right? So do you think he was doing that for? Hold on, hold on, hold on. For? He, 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 was, he, was, he was talking to his, he was talking down to his own kind to a white boy. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 listen, he on no jumper Adam 22. It don't say no jumper Adam hey. 22 and AD in the crew. His name ain't nowhere on no platform, on this white boy's platform. It's two niggas right there with the white boy. Yeah, I think phone or something. Phone, it, it's, it's, name listen, dude. listen, it's two niggas on there with this Pecklewood white boy. And the nigga say, I set him up. Now, I ain't done nothing to this nigga. I don't even know this nigga mad at me. I don't have no clue this nigga mad at me. He ain't said I done something to him. He ain't said I shot his dog. He ain't said I beat up his sister. 
He didn't say I cussed out his mama. He said I talked shit on the internet. And if he come here, I set him up. That's a nigga in his feelings. <clears throat> That's what he said. And he's saying it to a white man. But look what the boss tell him. Boss tell him, well, nigga, I want to interview the nigga so bad, I meet him in Motel 6 by myself without you, nigga. Because this is the Adam 22 No Jumper show. I ain't going to let you set him up. So you have to go back and check those episodes out. He gave a great interview. He gave uh, good knowledge on uh, what uh, it entails in, in the South, what entails on the West Coast. He used to live on the West Coast, so he knows a lot more about it. Uh, I've been up there on several occasions throughout years and always loved it. My people are up there. Um, but uh, those guys are... Uh, um, great platform. Uh, shout out to, I guess it ain't Adam 22. I, I really never really just tapped into him or looked at him until Charleston and I started to discuss, you know, when they came at Charleston. And I love the way that the guy is doing his thing up there. Um, I, I don't have nothing against him. Um, he's He seems like a, a, a guy that wants to. Uh, you know, um, try to stay in the hip hop culture. I don't really know his background. I, I know uh, me being a, a brother, uh, being from the, uh, you know, I'm from the South, man. So you, you sometimes get a little pimp C spirit from me. Uh, I'm very, very uh, defensive when it comes to our people and what go on down here in the South. I love the West Coast. My, like I said, my uncle, my people is in, uh, in LA and, and you can't take that away from me. And when I pull up, Cause I'm gonna pull. I've been pulling up. I love. The, I love L.A., uh, Las Vegas. That's what I do. I'm on the West Coast and the East Coast, man. I'm international. So I just, uh, you know. But I, I, when he, when he went in the way he did, Charleston is a frequent uh, supporter of Boss Talk. He came out here. He, he, he wanted to give a spiel on what he transpired. So, and I think the AD guy said he was gonna set him up. No, I know the AD guy said he was gonna set him up. And when he said it, you know, it just it threw volumes out there. And then he tries to recant, recant the statement just a little bit. But, you know, I don't know. You know, all I know is, man, um, say, man, we're trying to help our people to be stronger, to go harder as um, far as a culture. And we got a long ways to go, man. And we love everybody. So um, when you look at just what we do, man, it's just dope to be able to be on platforms now, to have this access. Uh, we would, AD spoke very vulgarly about Boss Talk. Uh, he didn't say the name, he called us the Black MFs, you know. Um, I don't know what that is, but we just trying to do a platform, man. So shout out to AD for, uh, I guess, discriminating against uh, his, his reverse racism. I guess I have no idea. But uh, the guy just do it. I guess he's just, he, he seemed very emotional about what, what, what Charleston had spoke on him about. Um, but shout out to all the people, man. Like I said, it's all love, man. At the end of the day, man, we just out here, we having conversations. We need to be trying to enlighten people and give people positive vibes, really, instead of uh, controversial so much and try to help people to be able to, you know, be able to maneuver through life. So, hey, man, no, no disrespect. We just trying to make it work, man. Holla at your boy. It's a unique hustle. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.